So, you know, I've been slumming it around lately. I haven't been able to do any videos. Plus, I was on vacation in Cuba with my husband for his birthday and I had a really good time. If you have time, make your way to Cuba and I promise you will enjoy it. Do your research so you know where to go, what to do and everything which I did. But you can see this is a nail design we're going to do and we are going to get right into it. Hi everyone and welcome to another video and for all my OGs hey hey and if you're new welcome and I hope you stick around and guys we have another PR from Model Ones and uh, it's a poly gel collection and it can be purchased from Amazon so they sent me also the top coat and the base coat which is a set which I've tagged right here from Amazon and everything that I've used and everything I've previously used for model one will be listed in my link tree so I will attach the link in my description box for you guys to be able to purchase anything you want so here's a poly gel and it's a neon set and I'm gonna go ahead take everything out the box and then we're gonna swatch the colors and decide on what we're gonna do I haven't even decided what I was gonna do just yet I will just let me go ahead and do this and then I'll go with the flow and um, I had this idea and the idea was not working out which you'll see and um later in the video but you know such is such <laughs> and i can't complain and of course there is a pamphlet that tells you how to prep and apply and remove and it's very informative and if this is new for you when it comes to nail enhancement i recommend you reading through that pamphlet I was amazed that all the numbers were in sequence and there weren't no skip numbers or anything so there's 328 to 331 and if you have a little bit of OCD like I do um, it's strange so what I'm talking about is that if you've bought other products you might end up with different numbers and nothing in sequence so you might end up with 31 45 1 10 342 or something like that but never have i ever gotten something um well not never ever but i was just surprised for um the fact that model one is a smaller company but you know well respected company as well and um all the colors were numbered in sequence So 
this is where it started going downhill for me. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. So I had this idea that I was going to use some transfer foil. And um, my design idea was that I was going to do a spring plus since Patty's day kind of nails. So that's where the green foil came in. And I wanted the pretty side to show underneath the nail. But I was running into some issues because of the simple fact that um, it's foil. And I was trying to use base coat to try to adhere to the nail. And eventually I got two of them adhered to the nail tip but I was like I'm done I wanted to do it on all the nails and I had this really cool idea and stuff but also when I was done I realized that I was using the wrong tips because these tips are C curve and I needed to use a flat um, stiletto tip so you know but I, and it still came out pretty good after I decided to abandon ship <laughs> with the foil and um, just go ahead and into the application and stuff so I've decided to use 330 which is a tor 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 <laughs> My words, Jesus, uh, turquoise, green, yes. <laughs> and it's a very pretty color and I do like it a lot. And I think it really enhanced the nail in regards to what I was going for. And also when I added all the stickers, which you will see at the end of the video. Hey guys in the comment section let me know what you think of my new mic if you can um, hear me better if the quality is better for you um, I think I do need to turn down the volume of my voiceover but um, for now I'm gonna leave it for this one and then I will see because with my previous mic I had to turn my voiceover up so um, I'm just gonna leave this at where it is and um, I'm also going to watch the video once I post it to see what the quality is like as well and if I need to turn down or turn up. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll let you finish watching the video. So as you can see, I was going to do a clear ombre on this nail and then I decided to cover it up. Um, 
I didn't have any clear model one poly gel so yeah but you know the nails end up still looking really good and I was happy with the look I actually was gonna do a um, hybrid in which I was gonna use their um, model ones clear acrylic powder but um, I was like you know let's just do all poly gel but now i'm like oh maybe i should have done the hybrid and you guys probably would have enjoyed that but you know that's for another video So once the application is completed, I did a 120 cure in my lamp. I recommend you doing two 60 second cures once you've completed your poly gel or gel application. That will make sure that the gel is cured all the way through and not just in certain parts. You can even do it longer depending on what kind of lamp you have and your wattage. So I was having some issues with getting the stickers to stick to the nail. So I decided to add some primer. I probably could have just add the primer and be done. But after I added the primer, I just went ahead and added some top coat because um, I tried to stick an, uh, one of the stickers and it wasn't sticking still. So that's why I added the top coat. And once I added a top coat, I was able to stick the stickers on to the nail um, in regards to this sticker you've seen me try to stick it twice already so normally when you do that sometimes the sticky layer on the sticker is um, no longer adhesive so you have to use a new sticker so <laughs> that's one of the downfalls of you know with stickers sometimes some stickers stick really well and then others they need uh, whole help a lot of help so i'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch me complete the nail design and i will be back I want to say thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video